Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And what most marketeers are looking at this morning is in regards to the G20 meeting that was just in Shanghai and very much no kind of concrete plans made out for global growth. Uh, a couple of eyeballs now looking at the uh, ECB for what action they might take later on in uh, the month of March because growth in that zone is so anemic. And obviously the pound is still plumbing multi-year lows at the moment. Uh, Brit exit is still very much at the forefront of everybody's minds. And uh, many traders looking at equity markets on the back of all this kind of uncertainty that's uh, kind of swirling around right now. And of course, we've got crude oil. And we have a look at it from a technical perspective, specifically West Texas, Crude, um, you can see there's kind of a, a kind of a doji formation that's been quite prevalent. So it'd be very interesting to see how things uh, kind of transpire later on this week. Seems to be a little bit of a quiet start to the week, um, but there is certainly a, a lot of uncertainty uh, out there in the market. So without further ado, let's go ahead and have a look at things from a technical perspective because that's maybe a little bit more exciting than the themes first thing this morning. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at the US theory. So as discussed, you can see here, uh, the US 30 managed to rally up much stronger there on Friday, uh, reversed back down, actually closed lower by the end of the session, pretty much bang on that 55 period SMA on the wrong side of um, 16,626, which could have been a potential resistance level. There's a tip from this candle right here, can reverse back down. We're still a good bit away from that 21 period SMA. We do have a sell signal on the slow stochastic, uh, and the other technicals are relatively neutral, but from a technical perspective, not so good. 71% of CMC Marks clients are currently short. Um, if we begin to see uh, further downside, you could be looking at the next potential uh, support level being around that 21 period SMA. But interestingly, that's also broken below the 55 period. So then moving on to that UK 100, 83% of CMC Marks clients currently short. Um, we actually had a really good day there on Thursday. Then Friday was, uh, was, was okay. Uh, and then actually Monday, uh, we've kind of reversed course. So actually the UK market's looking a little bit better uh, than uh, Germany and also the US as well, uh, maybe due to that, uh, that pound weakness that we've seen so much of in the last number of sessions. The other technical is still relatively neutral. We've almost got a crossover on the slow stochastic right there, but 60, 70 being a potential resistance level, which we failed to, uh, to break and close and capitalize on. Moving then on to Japan, 225. Very negative signal this morning, uh, a proper reversal. Uh, though the, China, the Chinese Shanghai Composite Index has come off quite a lot this morning as well. 62% of um, CMC Marcus clients are currently short. At the G20 meeting, they talked a lot about the, uh, the yen volatility. Uh, and we'll actually have a look at dollar yen in, in a second. So uh, the value of the Japanese yen, uh, the fact that it's been increasing recently, obviously adding a little bit more to that, to that Japan 225 pain. But you know, you can see we've come down from, from December quite a lot, and uh, this is quite a negative candle to have close to this almost doji formation that you would have had. We're now trading below both the 21 and 55 period SMA. If we continue to see that downwards momentum, you could be looking at a retracement back down to 14,671. Any turnaround, and you're still looking at 16,384 as a potential resistance. Moving on to Japan 225, uh, again on Friday, we had a, a big push up to the upside, only for then to the reverse course as uncertainty comes back into the game. Almost a bearish, bearish engulfing pattern. Well, it is a bearish engulfing pattern right now um, with 1,111.61 uh, being a potential support, almost a double bottom that we've got right there. In fact, that is actually a double bottom. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But 69% of CMC market clients are currently long. Moving on to crude oil West Texas. And you can see the, the, the strength of that kind of doji formation, long like a doji formation. You say that's a kind of a shooting star formation uh, as well. You can see there's been a failure to break above uh, 31 and change for a little while. Um, and managed to do that on, on Friday, only then to sell off uh, and trade below that 55 period SMA. Um, you're still a good bit away from the other levels of, of potential resistance. Um, crude had managed to kind of build itself out a nice little bottom there, almost a double bottom there. $35 being a longer term potential resistance. Um, it's pretty flat this morning, so it'll be interesting to see how it ends the start to the week. If we begin to see it trail off, you could be looking at that 21 period SMA as being kind of important. Uh, otherwise, if we begin to see another tick higher, we just wanna get above that 55 period SMA, but this could be a, a reversal signal uh, for, for gold, uh, for crude, sorry, uh, and that'll give you a bit of an idea as to the fact that the bears are kind of trying to take back control. Gonna get pushed up higher like this and then slam back down again 
and actually to end the day negative when it has been positive for most of it, that usually is a negative signal. But the fact that it's not followed through with any conviction this morning to move lower um, is, is maybe an indication that the, uh, the, the bills aren't over yet. Moving on to gold. And uh, gold broke out of that symmetrical triangle formation, but it's been incredibly volatile. Uh, one minute it smashes up, then moves down. You just see the long legged candles. Today's already not any different. Uh, so we'll see. You just have to wait, wait to see what happens next. We could see that this uh, sloping upwards trend line might be providing support. It certainly looks like that from the tip of that candle and the tip of this candle right here. But we are trading quite high above those moving averages. Other technicals are relatively neutral. Maybe you could argue that you're getting some. Um, a kind of div diversion, I guess, uh, var variance against the actual price here relative to this. Um, so that's when you've got the uh, the price kind of ticking up and then the slow stochastic moving a little bit lower. Um, that does show a little bit of change in the momentum of the of the trend. So if this begins to kind of fail again, you might get follow through. And then we have a quick look at euro dollar. Uh, the euro has actually been getting tanked against the US dollar uh, the last couple of sessions. It had been doing so so well, only to give up all of its gains. It's uh, maybe looking like it could be trying to bounce off this potential trend line. Uh, well, I think maybe that's just kind of lucky at the moment. Um, we are trading below the 55 period SMA. We're miles away from 21. The other technicals are relatively neutral. Quite a negative day that we had there on Friday. Bit of a bounce this morning, but it's not looking anything too special, especially when you consider the strength of that move down there yesterday. On um, Friday, sorry, 55% of CMC Marks clients are currently uh, short. And then finishing up with GBP USD, uh, poor old sterling, uh, getting not a lot of love right now. Longer term potential support all the way down at one spot 35.09. Uh, again, a negative day there on, uh, on Friday. A little bit of a bounce higher this morning, but it just looks like it's a little bit of profit taking, to be honest. With the Brit exit still um, swirling around and only just getting started, there's undoubtedly going to be lots of uncertainty for, uh, for, the, for the sterling. And uh, the US dollar seems to be getting a little bit of momentum behind it. 72% of CMT Marcus clients are currently short. Well, that's, uh, that's the technical analysis side. Let's have a quick look at what economic data is, uh, is actually on the horizon. Um, and we don't have anything too exciting today. You've got CPI from the Eurozone uh, today. Tomorrow you've got some, uh, some, some PMI from China, so German employment data. PMI again from Germany, from the Eurozone, from the UK employment data from the Eurozone, and then PMI from the US. And then on Wednesday, you've got ADP private payrolls. Uh, of course, you become quite close to non-farm payrolls the following fr this Friday coming. And you've got your petroleum data as well uh, due later on in the session. So that hopefully gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect to start your week. Very good luck with your trading and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.